Hey ladies, so for another Q&A video, this, today I'm going to go through questions that I received on the Jamorel Facebook page. If It's facebook.com forward slash Jamorel Stewart TV. And of course, there's over 20,000 people there and that's because that used to be my Holy Spirit-led homeschooling blog Facebook page. And once I had to combine that blog with my free homeschool deal site for sanity, <laughs> And as a gift to my family, I changed the name to my name because I wasn't sure what to do with it. But I thought, well, I have this. I don't want to just delete it. And so now it's the home for my YouTube carrying on. So you go to facebook.com forward slash Jamerell Stewart TV. So I posted this asking for YouTube questions a few weeks ago, and I'm going to go through and answer a few of these. Crystal asks, I notice we have the same van, 15 passenger. How do you keep it clean? I sweep it out, but no matter what, the floor always looks like the bottom of a cereal box. So yeah, our floor in our van definitely gets that cereal box look. I was looking at the back of our van the other day with all the kids in it thinking, oh my, we need a bigger vehicle. Because if you haven't noticed yet, my husband is six foot six and all of these children are gonna, we're gonna be like a basketball team and I'm barely five Five foot four. So what we do with our van, sweetie, it's just have just the sweeper end of a broom, you know, with the long pole screwed off, and we keep that under the seat in the van. And so trash grows in our van. I mean, I used to be able to keep a perfect van, and I would keep a grocery bag in there, and my two or three little children would put their little messes in that little grocery bag, and oh, we'd throw it out when we got out. And now, like you know, if you have a large and growing family, things can explode. So I try to, before we leave to go out anywhere, I'll say, okay, you guys go get the trash out of the van we have a trash can over where our van is parked and whoever I point to whoever's in that shuffle to clean out the van goes and gets make sure everything's out from under the seats from up front from in the back just any kind of trash or crud that has grown in there in a perfect world we would do that now here's how you can be perfect with your van <laughs> if you're perfect with your van and you have energy by the time you get home from somewhere that's not me see by the time we get home I'm done but in a perfect world if we could clean our van out when we got home that would make leaving easier. It just doesn't happen. So they clean out the van before we go. And then about once or twice a week, I will point to a child and I will say, sweep out the van. So this leads me to our next question. Several of you have asked me about chores, what our chore routine is and how I assign chores. So I'm gonna just share this like you're sitting here at my picnic table talking to me. When I had just a few small children, and I was just getting started with all this. I did chore charts. We would have, I had a chore chart that hung for Jaden. I had a chore chart that hung for Zion. And Naomi was a baby. And I got an idea for a reward slash incentive chart from Dr. James Dobson. I talk about him often if you get me talking about parenting. In his book called Dare to Discipline, he had a very good, it's more of like a behavior modification kind of reward chart. And you make the chart you give the child you give the child some harder task that you want them to develop good habits in but then you give your child some easy task that they pretty much have mastered and that way at the end of the day when they go through and put their stars on their chart we would make them out of big poster boards they have they're building self-esteem because there's tasks that they can already accomplish that they're earning those stars for. And then they're being stretched because they're earning stars for higher tasks that you're trying to build their competency in. So we did that. We did that early on. Now with a whole house full of kids, I do not do that any longer. Somewhere along the line, life took over and I couldn't live my life by chore charts and stickers. So the way that I have done it more naturally, and again, I know, some moms, you need those charts, you need the stickers, you need lists, you need children written out and assigned to things, and I totally get that. And again, I talk about her often, my friend Amy on RaisingArrows.net, she'll move her children around, you know, someone will be assigned to the van, someone will be assigned to table chores, she even has seating charts that she rotates, and I think that's fantastic. Amy also talks a lot about developing a large family mindset before you're even a large family. And that's great, but my mind never went there. Okay, so we're a large family now, and I'm figuring a lot of this out. So I try to just keep things as simple as I possibly can. 
And one of those things is when it comes to chores, I have my children, like even now, Amelia, you know, Amelia, I'll say, Amelia, pick up your toys. Or Amelia, can you help mommy put the napkins on the table? Very young, I start them doing chores alongside me. Amelia loves to feel like she's sweeping. So Gabriel, who is now trained to sweep the entire kitchen on his own, she'll want to sweep. So what I'll do often is I'll let him sweep and then I'll give her a broom and then I'll tell her to sweep the kitchen. So she doesn't do it right. You know, she's two and a half, but she, we're playing and she's playing chores and she's feeling like she's being a part of the responsibility to take care of our home. And so for her, I know she's learning and I know it works because I have other children. I mean, now Liam, you know, Liam was like, no, I want my turn to sweep the kitchen. Mm -hmm. And so in a perfect world, I would have a chart and I would rotate chores. But a lot of times how I do it is my older three, Jaden, Zion, and Naomi, I have been training in household tasks for a while. So I can tell them pretty much any task that needs done at any time. I keep them organized in my head. So again, I'm really only organizing three there. And I'll say, okay, Naomi, I need you to go sweep and swiffer. The living room, Zion, I need you to put dishes away. Jaden, I need you to go back and shuffle laundry. Sometimes I call chores out like that. With Gabriel and Liam, I'll give them various tasks throughout the day. A lot of times they're setting the table. You know, they can put out napkins, put out forks, they can sweep rooms, they can make their beds, they can pick up toys. They can also pull the laundry from the washer and put it in the dryer. They can't turn the, they do it as a team, two brothers together. They can't turn the dryer on yet, which is fine because there's a dial that has to be turned and a button that's pressed. So they have to tell someone when they're ready for it to be pushed. They love getting the clothes out of the washer because a lot of times we have a big set of tongs. And so if they can't reach the clothes at the bottom of the washer, I tell you, this is how super classy we are. Gabriel will get in there with the tongs and pull clothes out of the washer with that and then pass them on to Liam. So it's hilarious, but they're learning. So I'm probably failing a lot of you guys. I don't have a super organized chore chart system. A big way that we do it is my goal is when we go to bed at night to have the house totally clean and ready for the next day. We don't go to bed with dishes in the sink. We go, don't go to bed with laundry that needs to be folded. We don't go to bed with rooms that need to be swept. And so part of whenever I've done my video about technology time, all the jobs have to be done before the older children get technology time. Now in the morning time, once we get back up, then we'll have a little bit of transition time where people make their beds and put their laundry in clothes baskets. And I think a lot of it is just having children, the children do chores with me through the years and then building routines. Routines that wear, okay, the shirt does not go beside the bed ever. The shirt always goes in the laundry basket. So at nighttime, after the younger children are in bed, I will write out on the dry erase board or I will just tell them, you know, I'll tell, Jaden and Zion to go fold laundry and hang up laundry and I'll tell them to fill a basket of towels and cloth napkins for Naomi. Naomi will fold that and then I'll tell them which rooms we need to sweep and swiffer. Um, and then different days of the week I'll say okay go ahead pull all the sheets from the bed. Not highly organized, not highly complicated, but we do live here so we do have to maintain some set of order. Now several years ago before I was also managing a business on top of everything else, we used to, I learned about it in the book Large Family Logistics, um, which is hard to get a copy of now since the publisher went out of business. So if you have a copy of that, hold on to it or I'll try to link you where I can find it below. Um, you might be able to get it at your library, but in the book, Large Family Logistics, she shared about having an afternoon cleaning time. So as our schedule changes, and I'll share our schedule changes, I just don't wanna share everything I think we're gonna do, cause you know, most likely as Travis and I talk it out, some things might change, but I'm thinking that this school year, we might go back to an hour in the afternoon cleaning time. Not that what we're doing isn't working, but I'm just bull in a china closet, busting through, changing up things. So that's part of how it works for us ladies. 
you can let us know what your chore system is below. Um, for those of you who haven't heard of it, there's these wonderful things called chore packs that you can get that has, especially for non-readers, it's a little clip the kids can put on in the morning. It has pictures of the different chores and things that they need to do. Maybe it's just because we have a house that's shrinking on us. You know, everyone knows <laughs> there's always things that need done. And so even like with our playroom slash school room slash everything room, when that room explodes, I can now say to Gabriel and Liam and even little Amelia, okay guys, it's time to clean up the toys. And we have totes and shelves in there where the toys go. And so I just ask for them to get them from the floor onto the sh onto into the totes. Um, also, we have a play porch with various toys on it and outdoor equipment. And so Gabriel and Liam now at, at four and a half and six, they can clean up that whole porch and put things back where they go. So living life together, being in the same house, a lot of these are habits and routines we've, we've learned together. So that's just part of how it works for us. Now for laundry, several ladies have asked for laundry tips or wanted to know our laundry routine. Let me see here. Sarah asked, I'd love to see how you keep up with all the laundry. Okay, so here is more. Oh, and then Amy said, laundry organization slash schedule. You guys must think a lot of me. Okay, so here's what the laundry is. We have four laundry baskets. We have a laundry basket outside the children's bedrooms. My husband and I have a laundry basket. We have a laundry basket in our mud room, and then we have a laundry basket by our washing machine in our laundry room. Part of my problem in life is big issue. <laughs> But again, this is where I have to be content. This is where contentment comes into play because I'm sure you have situations you have to be content with also. Our washer and dryer are in our back bathroom and so is an extra refrigerator. So yes, I'm blessed because I have another refrigerator there and I'm blessed that I have a washer and dryer in my house and I'm not running to the laundromat, you know, praise the Lord. But we don't have a lot of room for laundry to pile up or to store clothes. So we also, we have two bars in our bathroom to hang clothes on so the way that it goes is you know starting in the morning usually when i get up or if a child gets up before me we shuffle laundry and all shuffling laundry is you move it from the washer to the dryer you move what's on the dryer onto the floor in front of the dryer now a perfect system that i was talking to Jaden about it the other day we did this for a few months a perfect system if you have time to micromanage it and to get into the habit is once a load comes out of the dryer you instantly get two or three helpers in there and you fold that one load and that way laundry never sits on the floor we cannot do that we have not been able to do that consistently long term something happened i can blame it on my neck i'm not sure but now the laundry piles up in front of the dryer for the day we'll do our two or three loads so in, by evening time there's a pile of laundry and then after dinner we have a chore time so right around the little kids bedtime I'll throw a few little chores out at them the older kids obviously have more chores because then they get the little bit of technology time so then I have Jaden and Zion go back and Naomi too and they'll process and fold laundry they'll hang up laundry they'll put laundry away do a lot of the shuffling and moving laundry throughout the day but at this season in life no I haven't been back there sitting and folding and hanging up laundry honestly the kids do a lot of the laundry folding and hanging up themselves and we have a table that the laundry goes on several moms asked me about a family closet so this rolls into that question we have a makeshift family closet in our bathroom slash laundry room area we have clothes that hang in there by person we have clothes folded on our folding table a lot of times out of habit we will all dress from in there even Daniel and Amelia have clothes in there and then about once a week it gets to be too much too much folded too much sitting around and so I'll tell the kids okay tonight when you do laundry I want you to go through and put all the laundry away so upstairs we have a room that my goal was to make it a family closet it didn't exactly happen yet but Zion and Naomi's clothes and Jaden's shirts are hanging in there Naomi has a little dresser it's more of like a filing cabinet with pants and shorts and skirts in it Jaden and Zion have their own dresser and then we have two sets of shelves that have all of Gabriel's clothes Liam's clothes and Amelia's clothes folded. The bulk of Daniel's clothes now are folded in a tote in my room and that's our laundry system. So once a week everything gets put away and then of course we have <laughs> where hey none of the clothes are in the laundry room so how do we get dressed now so then everyone runs and gets their clothes and you know that's just the reality of it. So laundry is done every day. The older children have 
most of the responsibility for getting the laundry folded and put away. I feel like it's a good life skill. They'll know how to do laundry whenever they grow up. I do not, I don't separate clothes. I mean, this is the rocket science. I was talking to my friend Jen, her channel is Planet Mommyhood, and Jen was saying, you know, they shove it in the washer, and then they shove it in the dryer, and then they shove it in a basket, and I don't know what her system is after that. So. She probably has a video on it over at Planet Mommyhood. But that's our laundry system, ladies. Not super complicated. We wash clothes, we dry them. The older kids fold them and put them away. My friend Dawn wrote a good article about how as moms, we don't want to work ourselves out of a job. I don't want all of, I don't want my kids to have all the household responsibilities to where I'm just sitting back with my feet up you know, nursing a baby and drinking sweet tea. I do try to get in there and do as much as I can do. You know, I, I'll take turns sweeping a room. I'll take turns because we do still hand wash dishes. I know it's ridiculous, but you know, I'll wash one or two loads of dishes away. Um, I'll take a turn wiping the table. I'll take the tur a turn sweeping the porch, whatever. Whenever I say, okay, we need to have, you know, 10, 15 minutes to just quickly pull the house together. Amy calls it a, a I think a 15 minute tidy. So if we just take that short break, you know, I jump right in and do it with the kids. But then there's times where I have to lay down and nurse the baby and I can say to each of the child, I can give them a specific task. And I know when I come back 20 minutes later, those chores are gonna be done. So that's very quickly how chores work at our house. Our kids work, they do chores. We also play and have lots of fun. I work and do chores too, so. That's just a little peek at how chores work at our house. Give me your tips in the comments below how the chores work at your house and what's working out for you. And don't be scared to do a chore chart or an incentive chart or behavior chart or any of that. If that works for you, share it below. I've had seasons where that's worked and I've had seasons where it hasn't worked. So really you gotta do what helps you run your home effectively. I will talk to you in those comments and I'll see you next time with another Q&A video. Bye-bye.